Hello everyone and thank you very much for watching this video where I will answer a question regarding ACLs and Pageable. So this was a really good question and um, I wanted to create a separate videos to provide a clear answer on this. Um, just because there are some tricks here that I want you to know and that I haven't explained in any of the previous videos I have created on this channel. So I have here a um, replica of uh, the same project I have created for one of the previous videos rega regarding ACLs and I will provide a link to that video as well if you want to check it, maybe you, you haven't seen it yet uh, and you want to understand how ACLs in Spring Security work. Um, I won't re-explain that in this video, I'm just um, using the same uh, project and uh, I will continue working on it to answer the question I have received and the question is can we use in the repository class the version of find all with pageable um, together with post filter so this is basically what I understood from the question if we can use the pageable version of find all or the pageable version of in general a method in um, in the repository class because you know we can create even our custom methods can we use those together with with post filter and that is basically a question rather most re more, more related to post filter rather than acs because don't forget that post filter is not related uh, directly to acs you can use it uh, with uh, many kind of uh, implementation is just part of the global method security so let's see what happens if you want to use the post filter with a version using pageable. So basically I have to go up in the hierarchy up to paging and sorting repository because this is the repository where I have the um, pageable versions. Um, to be easier for me I will use the find all but again the same answer um, is for any kind of method that you would create even for the custom methods you would create in spring data with the pageable as the parameter and you see that uh, the pageable method returns a page which is normal uh, it is what we expect from the spring data implementation and this is where the trick is so in in case you would like to do something like this then you would have to override the method in your interface and then you would apply the post filter above it but this doesn't work and the reason for why it doesn't work is because the post filter here will try to filter the uh, result the return uh, value of uh, the method and it needs to have a return value of a type of a collection or an array so it won't work on the page itself because page is not a collection and neither an array and if you try to do something like this my expectation is that we would get an exception um, when we'll um, uh, try to call this method so let's see what happens let's see in if indeed we have that exception and uh, how it looks like and where does it come from and then let's see if we find a solution for this uh, to make um, our implementation work with pageable as well um, that would mean that I need um, in the controller uh, something like a new endpoint I can use something very similar with this but I want to have pages so I say this is page and then maybe I even want to provide the number of the page which I should get it from my path variable so it would be something like this and then of course uh, I don't know the name of the method um, works now because I have an overloading but you can change it as well products on page let's call it to be more specific and then I call the find all and then I need a page uh, a pageable and the pageable in my case would be created I hope I did import the correct pageable so yes it's the correct one be very careful there are more interfaces and classes with this name so you might uh, import the wrong one then we have page request and we need the page here and then I will say I want one uh, value per page itself so this is it oh I can't 
use the same name of course and then I do provide this parameter here and I have to obtain the list which I get it by uh, taking the get content of the page so then I return the list from the page which is the list of objects on that page and to make sure I have something on um, on the first page uh, um, I have a page of one even though it doesn't really matter because I think I have only one object uh, anyway but the page is important for us not the size of the page I can leave it to one that means one object per page I run the example and I try first to call the um, method with all and then I will call the method with the page itself but I do again expect to have an exception when calling this because the um, post filter shouldn't work here and it shouldn't work because the page itself is not a collection so I, I have already opened the postman here and uh, if you remember from my previous video again I will provide a link to that video um, in uh, the comment section you have this user which um, uh, has access to only one product which is chocolate this is due to the to how I have configured my uh, objects in, um, in the database uh, and then if I try to access the same with, for the first page so this is slash page slash one for John I, I expect to see the same thing here because I have a page of one object and it's the first page but instead I have a 500 internal server error and if I go I would um, just um, move to the first line and it says filter target must be a collection or array type so it's exactly it's precisely what we would expect uh, it asks us for a collection but we provide a pageable and if you, I go to the implementation exactly on the line where the exception occurs you will see that this illegal argument exception is thrown after a couple of if um, statements where in the first place the this method tests if um, the uh, target I provide is an array and that happens after another if clause that actually tests if uh, the target is a collection so this is how it's implemented this is the implementation behind which tells us very clearly that um, what the um, uh, post filter expects to have is a collection or an array it won't work with our pageable so how, how can we actually create our implementation because it's clearly that this one doesn't work and um, if we really want to have this uh, post filter implemented like this then we have to move to a layer to the left in our architecture and create a service class and apply the post filter on the service where we will create a method that returns the um, list uh, inside uh, and not the pageable uh, that's because you can't do that in the repository the repository of spring data assumes that the method behind find all for a page returns a uh, pageable so you won't be able to modify it at the repository level but you can create a service well in my case just to make it uh, easier I won't create a service anymore because I don't have one and I don't want to create a huge video about this I will move it directly to the controller so I, I will move in the controller here and where I do return the list for the page then I can actually do a, the exact thing I was doing in the repository so I take the post filter and I apply it here again usually I would do that at the service level and not directly on the endpoint I don't uh, I don't really like to have this kind of global method uh, on the endpoint um, expect for uh, specific cases and this is not of one of them so uh, I usually move this to a layer um, to a service layer which is um, um, somewhere in between the repository and the controller uh, and if you run something like this you will actually uh, see that this doesn't work uh, uh, either and uh, the reason for why it doesn't work and I have discovered it is this get content uh, is basically returning um, an unmodifiable collection and uh, I don't have I think I don't have that open anymore but um, basically when in, in that exception maybe we can see the exception again let me let me try to run this again and see the exception again so where was my exception somewhere here uh, 
somewhere around here in the collection it tries to call a clear and this uh, this is where if it uh, finds a collection that's uh, unmodifiable it will basically fail because it can't clear the collection so this is what i what i've discovered i didn't know that uh, sorry for that i really i'm uh, first of all uh, I don't use ACLs that much and uh, it's one of the things I do recommend to avoid is my last choice. Uh, I do choose this uh, level of granularity in an application only if I don't have any other choice because I, I really find it very very heavy uh, in terms of implementation but also in terms of execution. So that, that's what I keep uh, also saying uh, this is the last choice you would do ACLs if you don't have any other options and that, that's the reason for why I uh, also uh, am not... Um, I don't know all the details on this like I do for other for other kinds of implementations so I, I still find mysteries in ACLs um, with uh, each and every exercise I work on and uh, this is where I found found with uh, uh, trying to to make this th this video for your question thank you very much for your question because you see i i, I learned a lot of things by uh, trying to answering these questions uh this get content returns an, an unmodifiable collection and if you try this code now and i would like to try it uh, for you to see as well uh if uh, if i try it now i uh, will see that it fails on that exact clear i have shown you because of that uh, so the post filter practically is uh, intercepted by that aspect and applies that method and at some point it tries to clear the collection returned by this get content which is unmodified and it fails because of that so i go to my postman once uh, everything is up and running and I try to resend this and surprise surprise I have another 500 and if I go to my uh, console again I will see I have this exception coming from the collections clear because I have tried to do um, operational uh, of uh, change on an unmodifiable collection <laughs> so how do you solve this where yeah, there are a lot of ways you can change the, the, the unmodifiable collection to a modifiable one. Maybe the cleanest would be instead of the get collection here to just try to use the get. Uh, get returns a stream and then you can simply just collect it to list to a list and this is uh, this will change the uh, collection to a modifiable one. Actually, it turns it from the, the stream to a, to a modifiable collection and if you run this again this should work correctly and it will return on the first page that only that only object and then on the second page you won't have any uh, that's basically that's basically uh, an idea of using it now so in this case So in this case, I have this uh, this one here, and on the second page, I don't have anything. Now, when when you do something like this, I know what you will say. It's still not solving your problem completely because if you do something like this, basically, you first get all the result on the page, and on that page, you might have uh, you might have objects uh, for which this has permission doesn't allow, and in this case. Um, in this case, basically, you might have situations in which your page is smaller or bigger in terms of number of elements. Uh, so um, for that for that uh, situation, using the pageable, I still don't have an idea. Um, I, I still don't know if you can actually do something about it, like um, using the, the post filter together with pageable and get pages of the same size it's really possible that uh, that this might not have a be, a be a solution with this case as well uh, this is just a theoretical example that i'm showing you here so you uh, i hope you understand what i'm saying if i would have 10 here then uh, basically this will return me uh, 10 objects and out of these 10 objects then i 
I do filter them and I only display five, which might not be uh, the thing that you need because in this case you have requested a page and you expect them to be uh, 10 and uh, maybe less only on the last page. Otherwise you would have first page with five products and the second page with seven products. And this, this is something that um, uh, is clearly not user friendly and might create confusion. And I won't want such an implementation in my application. Uh, but uh, I don't think you actually have a solution with find all pageable and the post filter as well. In this case, if you really want to, to, to use it, what I would actually do is I would go to the product repository itself here and then I will create, I would actually create my query itself using the pageable. So I, I would create the query and then in the query itself, I would use the parameter where I test that my user have this, uh, this privilege, which is a little bit more complicated because you have to write your query yourself. And that's not basically the idea of the framework that tries to simplify you doing that. But I don't know if you have any other choice on this uh, um, for, for any other approach. So for the moment, having a consistent uh, number of elements on the page, the only, the only idea I can have is still writing your own method. You know you can have pageable uh, with your custom implementation methods as well. Um, if not, uh, I have a, um, a video about that on this channel where I prove how to use Spring Data. But you can do that. You can have a method, you add the add query, and then in the add query, you write the JPQL. And in the J JPQL, you put the condition that where, and then you have to write your J JPQL, which makes sure that the products you select are um, for uh, the specific user. And again, I don't know with pageable any other solution to keep also the page consistent and, uh, and have uh, the pageable uh, implemented in the same place. That's it. That's, that's my opinion on this. I hope at least I brought you some ideas and you've seen something interesting. Thank you very much for your question. Don't forget if you have other questions, you can ask me there in the comment section. You can find me also on LinkedIn or Twitter and I will try to answer you or at least share my opinion on this. And um, uh, yes, hopefully uh, I will be um, uh, of help um, for you with, uh, with these videos I create. Thank you very much for listening and here to you soon.